Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple scratch game called Pop the Balloon. So, let's get right into it. First, you're going to delete the sprite and choose another sprite. I'm going to do a balloon. Go to costumes and pick one of the colours. I'll stick with blue. Next, you're going to pick the size you want. The smaller the balloon is, the harder the game will be. I think that size would be good for me. There we go. Mm, maybe a bit bigger, actually. There, that's perfect. Next, you're going to go into coding section and in the events, get the one green flag clicked. Under that, go to control and get forever. Next, you're going to go to motion and grab the go to XY. In there, you're going to pick random to minus 200 to 200. Do a smaller number first. Scratch usually expects that. Put that in the X. In the Y, you're going to put minus 180. There we go. Now, you're going to grab the glide one second and turn that to two seconds. Then, you're going to get the X position you find in the bottom of the motion, ship, motion section. And then in Y, 180. Now, put this in here. I think I'm going to make my size actually like that. There we go. Now, as you see, the balloon goes up. Perfect. Okay, now, let's do the rest. Go back to events, and when this bright clicked, go to variables and make a new variable called um, score for all sprites. When green flag clicked, set score to zero. Actually, when the sprite clicked, change score by one. There we go. Now under that, grab the forever block. And then get an if then inside that. There we go. Now go to operators and pick the equal sign. In the 50, you're going to put zero. And then in the other one, you're going to put time left, which is going to be a new variable you're going to make now. Time left. Now, you're going to grab time left, and if time left equals zero, then you're going to go to costumes, and you're going to make a new one. This is going to be like, your costume is what's going to be at the very end, so when you lose, it's going to be like, game over. There we go, I finished designing mine. Now you're going to go back to coding, and if time left equals zero, go to looks, and switch costume to costume one. And go back to motion, go to zero, zero. There you go. Now, when green flag clicked, you're going to return it back to our original costume. So squish, switch costume to balloon. There we go. Now, when green flag clicked, again, you're going to set score to zero. There we go. Now we can even make a timer. So you can go when green flag clicked again, set time left to 30. This is going to be how long you want. So if I do 30, my time is going to be 30 seconds. Set time left to 30 and repeat until. There we go. Now I'll go back to operators and put that as zero. And variables, put in time left. There we go. Repeat time left. And then go to control section and grab the wait one second block. And under that, variables, change score by one. Actually, change time left by one. There we go. 
Now let's try that out. As you see, there's 30 seconds. Wait a minute, I made a mistake here. Instead of turning turn left by one, you change it by minus one. There. Now, as you see, there's a timer, 29, 28, and every time I hit the balloon, it goes score plus one. I go you guys and hope I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Watch part two to see adding new balloons and even trying out new stuff. See you in the next one. Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of making my scratch program pop the balloon. So let's get right into it. First, you're gonna copy this same original sprite. In the bottom, you're gonna find this time one. You're gonna put that straight in the bin. Go back to the top and in the motion section, go to XY. In the X, you're gonna get X, which you'll find in the bottom of the motion section. Y, you're gonna put minus 212. There, now put that in here. Now, we'll go five clicks, so this balloon will go in the very bottom. Now, we want it to wait zero, maybe 0 0.8 seconds. There we go. Now, as you see, it'll start off here and now it'll go 0 0.8 seconds. If we don't put the 0 0.8 seconds, as you see now, the balloons are on the same pace. That's not what we want. We want them not to be in the same pace. So we put them here, so it's different. Now if you want to make another one, maybe just copy that one again. Here, instead of 0 0.8, you're going to put 0, maybe 0. Point, actually, I think I'm putting 1.4. Let's try that. Perfect. Now, there are three balloons. The score goes up every time I pop it, and the time goes down by one second. Now, go back to here, and here, you'll find this one. If time left equals zero, then switch costume to costume one and go to XY. We don't want this one. In both of the sprites, get rid of that one. There. Keep the chain score by one one. There we go. Our score goes up every time we pop it, and the time goes down by seconds. You guys could add different sounds if you want. Maybe you can animate the balloon to make it look like a pop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was really helpful.